Hey guys, it's El Superstar Q here with a video showcasing my lost clay figures. Now I know what you're thinking, how can you show something if it's lost? Well originally when I was doing this video I had it scripted and I was going to kind of talk about it more formally, however I had a hard time finding visuals so I decided to transform it into a kind of in-depth series type video and show you guys clay figures that I have around that are the closest things to these lost clay figures and hopefully they'll give you a pretty good idea of what the lost ones looked like. So let's start with the first one, which is my lost first Luigi. So you guys remember this first Mario. He was made way back, probably like 2004, 2005. And along with Mario, I made a Luigi. I'm pretty sure I made them, if not the same day, it was like the day after. And for some reason, Luigi kind of <laughs> hasn't survived since you know, way back then. What I would often do with these figures is use them as action figures, because when I was growing up, I didn't have the Jack specific figures or like all these SH figure arts, you know, really good figures like to play with. So I had to make my own. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I got into sculpting actually. So I had a Mario and Luigi figure and you know, I'd play with them and stuff. And Luigi unfortunately broke. Now at the time I was too little to use like super glue and glue things myself. So he was on the table waiting to get glued. I was a kid. I was impatient. I'm like, I'm not going to wait for him to get glued. I have to go on an adventure with Mario and Luigi. So I took Luigi off the table. I played with him. He probably broke some more. You know, pieces probably got lost. Anyway, what happened was I eventually put him into a plastic bag with other broken characters so I wouldn't, you know, be tempted to, to play with him. And pretty much that plastic bag, I have no idea where it is. I thought it was in some other obscure boxes that had some clay in it, but nope, I can't find it at all, so I have no idea where that is or where he went. If he didn't break, I would probably still have him. So, take a look at this Mario, and then take a look at this Luigi. If you cross these two, that's what my first Luigi would look like. So the next clay figure I want to show you guys, or talk about rather, is my first fox. So, this is, you're going to have to look at Falco to kind of get a picture of fox, because... Back when I made these, it was this Falco and my first Fox were based off of the Super Smash Bros. Melee style. Now, unfortunately, these were made so long ago, and it had been years between my first and second Star Fox models, that to show you guys the next one that I made would be, like, too good to compare to these old ones. So you're going to have to kind of use your imagination what the Melee artwork looks like for Fox, and then, like, what this Falco looks like. It was really basic. You know, I'm pretty sure he had, like, this exact off-white color. The details were really lacking. He did look a little bit better than this Falco. Like, this Falco looks really, really basic. Fox looked a little bit better. But what happened to him was, at one point, this must have been, like, 2000... Probably, like, 2006 or so, maybe 2005 is I had a lot of clay around the house and what we did is pack a lot of it up in boxes and bring it down to the basement. Well, one day I decided to bring up some of my favorites and I guess Fox was included in that group. So when I was bringing him up from the basement, I dropped him onto the hard concrete floor and he broke into several pieces. And kind of like in the case of Luigi, I was too little to use the glue. I'm like, oh, well, someone will get around to gluing this later. And I think pretty much, I just put him in a really bad spot, like on top of a counter that had other papers and other like stuff on it. So he kind of got lost in that stuff, and it's funny because a couple years later I remember finding him again, but I put him back in the same spot. Like, I found him, and then I'm like, oh, look, it's Fox. Well, he'll get around to being glued later. I put him back in the same spot. Yeah, so he is lost, and Falco is kind of the only remnant of that. The next group of character sculpts I want to talk about is Metroid. So these guys are very old, not as old as the stuff I've been showing before, but uh, this is, I would say, like 2000... Maybe like 2008. So this is kind of a series that I was doing, and it was called like the Metroid Trophy series. And this is when I was really into Metroid Prime. So there's Samus in her Phazon suit, kind of in the pose of first four figures statue. And then a Metroid, which looks pretty cool, even by today's standards. So what I wanted to do is extend the life of this set. And I had sculpted a Morph Ball, like, you know, stat, like a little Morph Ball on like you know, one of these Metroid Prime bases, if you can tell the Metroid logos on them, and then a Space Pirate, because I needed more characters to add to the set. Well, what happened with that is, the Morph Ball, I thought it was just a really dumb idea, and I'm like, why am I going to sculpt, like, Samus is, like, really good, why am I going to sculpt a Morph Ball? Like, it doesn't even make sense. So I wasn't too crazy about that, and the Space Pirate, when I was putting it into the oven to bake, he kind of fell over, so if you can imagine, you know, he was standing, like, upright, and then in the oven, he kind of, like, leaned over. So... It looked really bad that way, not to mention the sculpt itself looked pretty bad. So together those two I kind of just considered disasters. I put them, like Luigi, in a plastic bag 
except Luigi was supposed to get glued. I didn't know what I was going to do with these guys. I think I was just going to just hold on to them until I thought of something to do. But then eventually, maybe this was a year or so later, I don't really know how long it had been before I decided this, but I thought that I wasn't going to do anything with them ever and they were beyond fixing, so I threw them away. To my recollection, that's what happened to them. Uh, so that means I don't have them anymore and I don't think I have any pictures of what they looked like. So if you could imagine like a really, really bad space pirate from 2008 and a morph ball that was really basic, it was almost just a complete like, you know, a complete circle of orange clay, then that's what those two look like, and uh, they don't really exist anymore, so, yeah. To go along with Metroid is what I think is the first posable character I ever did. So, this is a posable Samus that I had an idea for, because, again, around the time I was in the Metroid Prime and stuff, I wanted a Samus figure, and of course, there were no Samus figures, except the really expensive Joyride Studios one, but I wanted to make my own, so... I decided to do that, and instead of just making it, you know, like the Mario where it didn't pose, I wanted to have it posable. So I took, like, the green twist ties or whatever, and made a posable Samus figure. Now, you're going to have to do your best to envision this, but take this Samus, my first Samus, and combine it with kind of the posability of this fox. And that's essentially what it was, except... Its posability wasn't that good. This fox has really good posability. The Samus didn't have that good because it was really bulky toward the top. And then by the end, I was running out of clay, so I had to make things really small, and it was rather disproportioned. The joints did not hold very well, so essentially what happened to it is I used to have this clay table, and it was just full of, like, any time I would do clay, I would just put the clay on that table. And I think uh, one day, um, this particular model had fallen off the table. So instead of, for some reason, picking it up and putting it back on the table... I just waited for enough, like, clay to fall off the table and break, so I could put all of that in one bag, like a plastic bag, like Luigi and the scrap Metroid Trophy figures, and, like, I don't even know what I did with the bag, but I just put them in a bag and just kind of out of sight, out of mind. I have no idea where it is or why I did that, but that's what happened to it. I don't think it's thrown away, so if I ever find that bag or, you know... The whereabouts of where it could be, then I'll find it. But that that's essentially the reason why things like this fox even happened is because, you know, I wanted a posable Samus. So this isn't really lost clay, but it's kind of related to the to the posable Samus and stuff. I mentioned the, the, the green wires, and you guys will probably remember that a long time ago I did an in-depth series episode on all my green twist tie characters. So here's Almer as an example. But he's kind of in not the greatest of shape because I want to tell you guys that most of these are lost or destroyed. So what happened is I had this display where I, I taped all these to a black piece of poster board. And I kind of hung that up above my clay collection because I'm like, oh, well, that looked kind of nice. It's, you know, it's art. So I taped it up to the wall and it kept falling down. And I kind of got sick of, you know, taping it back up. So I'm like, all right, either they're too heavy or, you know, they're not. I didn't stick them on, on the the poster board right so what I did is I decided to take that and kind of throw it with my art stuff and I'm like someday I'll get around to fixing this you know making them stick better to the thing and slowly but surely it got piled underneath more and more and more of my other stuff and I just forgot about it for the longest time and occasionally I would see remnants of green wires connected together I'm like what is this and I'd pick it up and be like oh this goes to like Sonic or something and be like oh wait I was supposed to fix that display, and by the time I realized that, what happened is all these characters, they pretty much, you know, got distorted, they got ripped apart, they got lost, so the only characters that I, to my knowledge, that are still in some kind of viewable state is the large Samus, the small Samus, Almer, and Sonic. Everyone else is either lost or destroyed, or like Eggman and Link, I still have some parts to them, but they're not in any kind of viewing shape, so unfortunately this whole art is kind of lost at the moment. Maybe I'll get around to restoring them, but I'm not sure if I can even do that very successfully. And then the last lost clay bit, you guys are going to have to use your complete imaginations for. So this is something I've talked about before in my videos, and it's rather infamous with my clay, and it's something I call the Original 20. So what the Original 20 is are the very first clay figures that, to my knowledge, I ever sculpted. Now, these were way back in, like, early 2000s, like, uh, like, 2001, 2002, like, no more than 2003. 
and having packed a bunch of clay and put down stairs and boxes, I'm not sure what these guys are. I'm fairly certain they're not thrown away. I'm fairly certain they're in my basement, but I've looked in my basement and around my house before and I've not been able to find these. I'm going to make an effort this summer to try and find them again because I would really like to have them because it showcases my earliest work of characters like Courage the Cowardly Dog, Squidward from Spongebob, the Flying Dutchman from Spongebob, and a lot of those type of characters because before I knew anything about Nintendo, I grew up with Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, so I would sculpt those characters. And they're just, they're so dated, they're so original for their time. Like, I can picture Courage in my head right now, but I just don't know where they are. But I really wanted to share that with you guys, that those are probably some of the most coveted lost clay figures of mine. Like, I don't even think I have anything that I could, like, compare to those. So if I can ever find those, I will definitely show you guys those in an in-depth series video. So thanks for watching, I'm L Supersonic Q, and until the next video, Finn.